Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to be working with terrain inside of Unity. So here we go. Game object, 3D object, terrain. And I'm sorry I'm going a little bit more faster. I've done this tutorial like five different times trying to get everything to work. So basically you go to the middle of the terrain so you can get a pretty good view of everything. This is just a uh, gray pane right now. But uh, to give it some texture, click on this little brush right here and go to edit textures add texture select now I have actually not imported the proper textures but um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that by opening this folder and going to our local disk textures and importing these two textures in the assets folder or a texture folder inside of your project now I can go back and select and type in grass now you can get these textures in the description below both of them are there uh, personally I believe this one's a little bit more better and uh, change these 15s to 5s not 2s add and now to add some lighting to our scene go to game object light directional light now if you're using unity free in the shadow type you can only use hard shadows but if you have unity Pro, either the trial or the actual Unity Pro version, you can use soft shadows. Um, now we're going to go ahead and add some basic hills by clicking on this little button right here with a hill and an arrow on top of it and just click on the terrain and use this little blue brush looking thing as your guide. And that is just some basic hills, but if you wanted to put a little bit more detail into it, you go to the little settings tab right here or button and change this 513 height map resolution to 2049 no 2049 I'm sorry okay okay so now we can go back and as you can see our brush is a lot smaller allowing us to put a lot more detail in the terrain and we also have other brushes over here any of these will be perfect for mountains or anything like that it really depends on what you're trying to create now obviously these mountains are a little bit too rugged to actually use so we're not going to use that brush we're going to use this brush right here this just creates some mountains that look a little bit more realistic and then just uh, flat plains and there you go now if you zoom in to these mountains you can see that um, there's a lot of edges sticking out with the shadows you can see them clearly to fix this use the same brush that you used to create them and use the uh, mount with a drop on top of it this is the smooth tool this really um puts down those polygons and puts them away pretty much i don't believe these are polygons but actual pixels because uh it is a resolution and not well it's still a 3d object but i don't know how to explain it And then once you feel that you've smoothed it out enough, zoom back in and check if everything is gone. Make some extra changes because more than likely the more you zoom in, the more things you will catch. And you can really see what's going on with the shadows. Um, as you can see like this right here, smooth that out. All right, that is pretty good. So now let's say we wanted to add another texture to the terrain. We just go to edit texture, add texture select and let's type in good dirt now you should get this texture if you imported the terrain assets change those 15 to 5 again and we're gonna go ahead and change our brush to the regular the first brush and change it to this one there we go now we've got ourselves a uh, little sand looking texture now as you can see for some reason it is a um, having to press down a lot more harder and that is because of the opacity we need to turn that to a hundred percent now opacity can be used a lot it could be used for something like snow uh, changing the color of certain grasses to give it a little bit more um, uniqueness to all the textures or just really anything and we're just gonna go around and do that it's not an island but it really just kind of shows that you can have more than one texture on a terrain. And this is going to be a two-part tutorial episode. So I can show you a bit more. So this is just some basics. Now what I'm going to show you is uh, how to create rivers. Now, let's say you wanted to create a river like this. Y you really can't. Um, 
usually you'd set this height to like zero and you would press and it would go down but the only reason it's not working is because there is no height on the uh, flat surface it's the height is zero so depending on the size of the river you want to create you want to change this to let's say seven if you want an average looking river and that texture will stay but the mountains will not so if you wanted to create a river I'll change this to about four and just click on the terrain and it just goes down and this is really good for creating things like rivers uh, lakes just really anything and let me go and get rid of this uh, texture right here by changing the brush size and just goodbye and then let's say we wanted to add some water we can drag in our unity free or unity pro water drag it up um, a little bit lower all right, then size it in the middle and just keep going until it fills all the rivers. Now, this is not the best choice as it does a uh, add a tad a tad bit more resources than you really need, but it's optimized enough to a point where you really can't even tell. Even with the uh, simple water, it won't do much. Um, I'm gonna smooth out the edges just real quick. Oh, that's too much. Way too much. Okay, no, we're, I'm just going to leave it like that. So, um, uh, what else can we do here? Uh, oh, yeah, we're also going to add some trees by clicking on this icon that has a tree on it and go to Edit Trees, Add Tree, and this little bubble right here, and type in Tree. Now, depending on uh, what resources you imported, you should have a big tree or a palm tree, but I have a big tree. So we're going to change the brush size to one so that we can just place one tree and not a billion. And we're just going to place a couple all around. Now, for some reason, um, because of the way this tree is created, it's going to have some awkward looking shadows. So I do believe if you go on the uh, actual prefab and go down, you can change it so it doesn't receive shadows. I mean, cast shadows. And you'll have to place it again. No. I'm not exactly sure how to fix it, but we have trees. Place it on the edges. Now, let's say you wanted to create a little bit more variance in your trees. You could do something like color variation and make that go up a little bit more. Tree height variation. No, 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 no. That's the, uh, that's not the actual variation. This is just variation in general. So now the trees don't look all the same. They look different every time you put them down. Now, uh, the one problem with these uh, trees is that they don't have colliders. You can walk right through them. Now, you could easily fix this by um, placing it by hand instead of actually clicking. It, that kind of sucks, but that's the way it has to be unless you just want to have some trees for a main menu or something like that. You really don't need them. And now, let's say we wanted to add some uh, grass that comes out of the ground. So we're going to go to here and this little icon that looks like it has like a a mini tree. I really don't know what that is, but we're going to add a grass texture. We go to the little bubble. We're going to type in grass. Now you have two different options. You have grass too and grass. Um, I'm going to go with grass because it looks a lot better. And um, if you have a Unity Pro trial or the actual version, you can turn off the billboard and that kind of makes it look a little bit more better but I'm just gonna keep that off because it does look better and you can change the color as well but uh, to save some time I'm just gonna leave it alone and as you can see we have some 3d grass going on here well not really 3d but it pops out of the ground making it look like it's 3d and uh, let's say you wanted to remove some grass you just uh, hold down shift and click near them Now, the more grass, the more performance you will lose. Uh, I found that out pretty easily. And uh, as you can see, let's say I put some grass over here, and it looks like it's not actually placing it, but it actually is. It's just the way the grass is made. It's made to uh, disappear 
after a certain amount of time so that uh it saves some performance so we're gonna add a little bit more mountains oh way too crazy i use this one right here boom boom oh that's that's definitely not gonna work okay why is the opacity like going crazy okay there we go not near the actual And then we'll smooth it out. I don't want to do too much detail into this because this is a tutorial. And uh, this is really made for you to find out what you can do with this. So just experiment with the brushes and just everything. Smooth it out a little bit. And then we're about to go inside the scene so you can see and take a look. So we're going to go to all prefabs and drag in the first person or the third person. I prefer the first person because it looks a lot better. And the third person just makes me laugh because it looks kind of weird and we're gonna press play and boom we have a terrain and some water now um if you wanted to add a skybox i should i showed you that in the first tutorial so you can do that um i would do that right now but i have not imported these skyboxes and i'd rather just leave it alone but Really just experiment with all the brushes, um, create some things in Photoshop, like some grass textures like these, and uh, more than likely I will be making some Photoshop tutorials on creating textures inside of Photoshop. But that is it for this part of uh, Unity Terrain. Uh, the next part will be a lot more advanced, uh, you could say, but uh, that's it. See you later.